Hello everybody, and welcome back to my Minecraft Bedrock RTX Survival. Um, in this video, we will be tearing down the old nether portal thing, and rebuilding it in the new location. Um, in case you've missed the past like couple episodes, just a little quick recap. I created this little shack and a nether portal down here, and we spawned inside of a... Um, I want to go ahead and start demolishing it while I talk. And um, we spawned inside of the Soul Sand Valley biome. And it was right in the middle of the biome, like, in the open. So, you know, it's just not a very good spawn location. I ended up dying a few times. So in the previous episode, I went into the nether and destroyed the portal in there. And I, um... Uh, died that way I could come back without regenerating a new portal and we are going to be building a portal in a different location and even if we spawned in spawn inside of the uh, soul sand valley again I at least want to be like in more of a spot to where I can defend myself instead of just being in the middle of like in an open area because um when I first got there skeletons were shooting at me gas were shooting at me it just wasn't very good so we are hopefully going to spawn somewhere where I can have a little bit more defense and we won't have to worry about all that I'm hoping to spawn in a completely different biome but we're not building it too terribly far away so I doubt that's going to happen um, I know that there's a, a basalt delta right next to the soul sand valley so hopefully we at least don't spawn in that so yeah Alright, we're almost done getting the roof here. I'm gonna go down here and pick up all these pieces. We'll get all this later on. And probably go ahead and get this too. Okay. So we've got most of the materials. I don't know if we'll need any more trap doors. I don't know how much bigger the new location is going to be. But we'll figure it out as we go. And I think I do have some spruce wood if I need to craft any more trapdoors. But pretty much the new location is going to be through here. In the last episode I dug out this little area and found a cave down there. Which we'll have to fix up a bit. Uh, Alright. So I think I'm going to put... Yeah. Like that. Okay. Um, and if you're wondering why we're doing a little shack like this, I'm pretty much kind of doing a throwback to my first ever uh, series I did on YouTube. It only lasted like six, technically five episodes, because the sixth, ep sixth episode was just like a little, um, uh, like three minute video saying, hey, I don't like this series, I'm not doing it anymore. <laughs> so... Yeah, it didn't last very long, but this is pretty much what my starter base in it looked like. And that's all we really got built. So I kind of want to do like a little throwback to it. Kind of like maybe it got sent here from like a different dimension or something like that. It is now just kind of sitting in the woods, broken down and with another portal on the bottom of it. Figured that would be kind of neat. I kind of like the idea of like bringing things from previous worlds and stuff into like a new world and kind of like act like he got transported there kind of like the kind of little storyline I came up with for Dog Dog in the SMP how he's here and there <laughs> so yeah who knows maybe we'll bring Walmart over to this world if you guys haven't seen the uh, Helix SMP videos Walmart's my horse in that series so I don't know why I named him Walmart but I did, so. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so we've got one more layer to build up for this. We might have... Well, we'll probably run out of the trapdoors. But we can always go make more, so that's fine. Oops. I don't like how sometimes here on Bedrock it doesn't, like, move items when you click on them. It's weird. Okay, there we go. So now let's make that to jump on to. 
and bring trapdoors back down and we can make this final layer if the tree doesn't get in my way too much make this final little layer and we can stick the roof on and then we'll go down and start kinda um, setting up the underground area so I really don't know what I'm going to do I don't know why I said really so weirdly well, I don't know what I'm going to do with the um, uh, area that is over there now uh, because it's just kind of a hole in the ground so yeah we'll have to figure something out for that I'll probably just cover it up and pretend it doesn't exist that's going to be the easiest uh, choice who knows maybe we'll end up using it for something else sometime down the line but for now I have no plans for it so yeah all right but here's this and this might be closer actually I think my starter shack in the other world was like smaller that's fine okay so now let's go ahead and start getting the roof put on I'll just open a couple of these to be a stairway leading up okay so I have to go all, all the way around the perimeter with the slabs and then we'll use full blocks um, for the next row and then kinda go up from there I'm using the slabs instead of um, uh, stairs because that's how I did it in the original build plus I think this is better to have a more gradual slope instead of just a steep incline like what stairs would do I don't know why I'm doing that. I'll have to break those here in a second. I got too excited. <laughs> um, yeah. So, oops, I sprinted instead of crouched. Alright, well actually I need one of those at least. That way I can place the slabs without having to um, do anything else. Okay, and then a couple more of these. And that is the shack part done. And we might break some holes in the ceiling and all that, but for now, it's this. We'll get some lanterns hanging so nothing spawns, hopefully. You can never really tell how like good the lighting is in a, um, in a room with the RTX because the lighting just works completely differently here. And it works the same. Oh, there's still an egg down here from last episode. And some iron. I'll go ahead and get that. But, um, yeah, the lighting works the same, but you can't tell, like, where, like, the light gets too dark or where it gets, or where it's bright enough, you know? My guinea pig's pushing around his igloo. <laughs> okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and go over, and we can start destroying, oh, uh, what else, or what we have over there. Um, I do need to get the buckets again, that way I can, um, get the lava from there. Because I don't want to have to run down to the mine shaft and get completely new lava. Okay. Oh, and hopefully my, um, audio is better, like with my mic and my voice. And you guys can hear me a little bit better, because I know in my videos they've been kind of quiet. But I changed a setting, or I flipped a little switch on the back of my mic, and it, I should be a lot louder now. So hopefully it's not too loud, but hopefully it's also loud enough that I'm hearable. Okay. So it is starting to get dark again. Let me see if I can go ahead and sleep. And the, not the chest. I need to move that chest. After we're done with the nether stuff, I will be building a basement to the house, which will be the storage room. I figured having a basement would be better than trying to build a very large building. So, yeah. And I couldn't really think of a good design for a storage room either. But maybe we'll build, like, a proper, like, 
outside one eventually, who knows. Alright, so let's go ahead and break the glass. Probably won't get much of it back, but that's okay. Get my buckets. And we'll pick up all this lava. And for some reason it's not working first try sometimes. And the lava's all gone. Okay. So how much glass did we get back from that? Oh, we got all six. Okay. And now we can break the portal. Very slowly. Alright, there it goes. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, let me go back actually and dig out, um, the little area that we need. I don't want to open that. Do I have any extra stone brick stairs? Okay, so I don't have to tear down the other thing immediately, but we will have to do that eventually. <clears throat> I'll make some more for now. All right. We actually might have enough materials I can just bury that instead of having to destroy the entire thing and rebuild it. I just wanted to at least get the lava and we'll have to get the obsidian out of there. Oh, I thought that cow was a pillager for a second. <laughs> okay. So, how... I think this is probably about as deep as I want to go with it. So we'll fill that in, and that, and I'll get some torches, that way nothing spawns while we're trying to do this. And do you think this is deep enough? I think we can go one more block down. Yeah, we'll go one more block, and then this will be the level that we built it on. And I'll place some torches, or one torch. Alright, so let's go ahead and place the stairs, at least right here. That way we know how far we are. And we need to go six blocks this way. So we're one, two, three, four, five, six. And that's where the lava is going to be. And then we'll break one more for the actual portal. and then we'll dig this way. I definitely do need to um, try to figure out how to get an XP farm on here and um, be able to enchant more and stuff because I've got a ton of diamonds but I haven't been using them. I've kind of been waiting to be able to enchant in order to use them so it's something we'll have to do. Alright and I'll dig out the space that we need for the portal. And I'll go ahead and place a torch there. And then... We'll see if we can make it all the way up with these stairs. Alright, looks like we're about six stairs short. Alright. Yeah, I think I might just leave the remnants of our mistake over there and just craft completely new um, bricks and everything. I feel like that would it'd be kind of cool to like one day maybe in the future if we forget about that being over there go to like dig for a new building and then just find it and be like, oh yeah, I remember when that happened. I think that would be pretty neat to, to have happen. Of course... I don't know if we'll, this series will be going on long enough to have that happen because, you know, once the Cave and Cliffs update comes out, I'll be ending the series and start restarting it for Season 2. So, yeah. Oh, why did I do that? I have no clue. I'm a weird person. <laughs> Just had chicken there waiting to be cooked and I had the stone in the way. I guess I can go ahead and cook my iron too. Or smelt it. Okay. 
There's no stone in there. I can probably go ahead and start smelting some more because I might need some. I definitely have to get the storage room up and going soon. Oh, there's some stone bricks. Uh, cobblestone. Full stack. There we go. Okay. I don't know why I have chicken in there instead of in there. I don't know. I'm weird. Okay. So. We need six more stairs. So. We'll do that. And then we'll craft the rest of the stone into stone bricks. And make our way back. So I think what I'm going to do is put in the lava first. And then build the rest around it. So we'll do that. And I definitely do need to build like a little pathway or something. Some outside decorations to this. Um, I might actually like wait to really decorate the outdoors area of stuff like other than just building the buildings until we have some more buildings built and then I'll do like a video dedicated to just making like the area feel more alive adding like more little details into stuff and I don't know what I'll call it but probably like ti tidying up or something like that I don't know something to think about but, yeah, we'll have probably an episode just dedicated to, um, making things look better. And there's the lava. Now, get the glass before I walk in, because it's something I'd probably do. I wouldn't put it past myself. And... Now we can start putting in the stone bricks. It looks kind of cool just having the block of glass with the lava there. <coughs> okay. So there's the floor done. And let's go ahead and put in the walls. We should have enough light with the lava that breaking the torches won't matter. So, I won't worry about that too much. And I want to leave that space for the portal. Break that, because that was not supposed to go there. And then we'll do this side. I wonder how easy it would be to put like one of those lines of lava above us, too. Probably not that easy. Or I could be overthinking it. Who knows? Okay, so that wall's done. Now we just gotta... bring it up. And do I have a shovel? Yes, I do. Alright, let's do this. And then I wanna break that one. Okay. And what I think I might do is I might put um, some, oh, what's it called, stairs, upside down stairs over here. That way it's kind of a more smooth slant. All right, let's go to this side to place these. Now I don't waste too many materials. And I keep placing things wrong, sorry about that. Okay. Well, I guess if there's stairs here, I do need to do these too. Because you'll be able to see the little edge of it. So we'll go all the way up here. I'm going to go ahead and pull out the shovel and get all that out of the way and then place these. Okay, now we just gotta do this side. I'll go ahead and place some torches. Place one there. And one can go there. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side once we get the walls placed in. Okay, 
And once we're done with this, let's switch to the shovel. And get all this dirt out of the way. And then take out our stone bricks and fill it in just like the other side. Okay. And there we go. So now let's line up our torches. There's one there. And one there. And I will go craft... That was weird. The lighting just disappeared. Alright, I will go craft the... Oh, it is... Nighttime. <laughs> I guess I was down there for a lot longer than I thought I was. What was that noise? <laughs> I don't know if you guys heard that, but that was a weird noise. I've never heard a mob in this game make that sound. Okay, let's hope that we can actually sleep. Yep. Alright. I'm gonna get a drink real quick. Okay. So, um, this episode will probably be a bit longer than most of the recent episodes. Because I want to just get this fully done and actually go into the nether. That way I can move on with the series in the next episode. We'll build a storage room in the next one. And then, um, we will probably go to the nether after the storage room is done and explore it. Do a full, like, episode on exploring the nether. That way we can see what's around us and hopefully we actually have a nether fortress nearby. Because I do not want to have to traverse thousands and thousands of blocks to find another fortress. Um, that's pretty much the situation we're in with the Helix SMP is there's no nether fortresses anywhere near us. And I haven't been able to go get my own blaze rods or anything because I don't want to risk falling in lava. Because <laughs> I don't, I'm like way behind on the server, so I don't even have like really enchanted gear or anything yet. Like, I have some enchanted gear, but it's not good at all. So, yeah. Actually, right after I'm done recording this video, I'm going to hop into the server and start recording episode 4, so I just released episode 3 today. I'm gonna have to start tearing down my base and rebuilding it. Which should be pretty fun. Alright, we've only got two more pieces of obsidian break. Since we don't have efficiency on this, it takes a bit longer. And there we go. And hopefully, yep, 12 obsidian, that should be enough. So let's go back up to the top. And I'll cover that up off camera later on. Okay, let's get a flint and steel. Actually, let's just dump our inventory. Hopefully I don't misplace anything. I'll just grab the sword and this pickaxe and I'll bring in cobblestone with us. And we can go into the nether and look around for a minute. And see what there is to see. Okay, put those away, and where's my flint and steel? I have no clue where I put that. There it is. Okay. Oh, I probably also want to take off my diamond armor. I think... I'll make a diamond hel- n not diamond helmet. Gold helmet. That way, in case we spawn somewhere where there's... There we go, that didn't go on for some reason. But just in case we spawn somewhere where there's piglins, they won't attack me. Now, if there's hoglins, then those will attack me, but... You know, I'll probably die to them. But at least I won't be getting shot at, so there's that. 
Okay. So now, let's place in all the obsidian. Be very careful not to misplace any. That way I don't have to run back. And we can light the portal. Alright, and I haven't done that yet. I'll do that off camera. I forgot about that. Okay. Well, let's go into the nether and hope we're in a better position. Oh dear. Huh, well. Hmm. <laughs> I guess at least we have more cover now. Oh, don't make noises. Okay, so I'm going to dig into this a bit. Torches don't really do much. Okay. So let's just keep digging this way for a minute and see what there is. I want to stay crouched because you never know when you're going to be digging and then there's just not a block under what you break. Okay, that's soul sand. I don't have a shovel on me, so... I don't like the sound of ghasts. <laughs> okay. Oh, yep. <laughs> Actually, our our last portal is right down there. Oh, look, there it is. <laughs> now, let me... Yep, that's where our last one was. Yeah, we might not be in a much better position than we were last time. We seem to be just above the last location instead of somewhere else. So that's wonderful. <laughs> Alright. Well, I think I will return home for now. And in a in an upcoming episode, we will fully explore... Well, not fully, but we'll... Do a better exploration of the Nether and try to actually get somewhere with it. So yeah. Alright, once I get back to my house, I'm probably going to go ahead and end the episode. It's been a lot longer episode than the previous ones. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Um, in the next one, we will begin working on the storage room. And then after that, there are a few other projects that I have planned, along with exploring the nether. So yeah, there should be quite a bit to do in this series. Hopefully I'll start uploading it a bit more often than I have been. I've been really focused on the Helix SMP. Of course, I might have been uploading it a lot anyway and not realized how often I've actually been uploading this series, so who knows. I just haven't been playing in the world as much as I used to, so... Yeah. But anyway, um, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.